But really, the photography is just a vehicle for getting the kids interested in animals, getting them interested in wildlife and wild places, and giving them an experience of, of what a tourist sees, or maybe in some cases what their father or what their mum sees when they're working in a lodge. You guys were good. You guys were good. So if it's 400, but well done. Yeah. to use with your lens setting out here. So if you're a young person growing up in these communities, you've got a couple of choices here. You could look at the poaching route and that brings short term high, high monetary gain. Or if you've been on my program, you might be able to see a longer term solution in that if the animals are there for a sustainable number of years into the future, then we've got tourism, we've got jobs, we've got employment going on for our children and for the grandchildren going forward. I didn't know anything about camera, so now I know everything about camera, even uh, the parts of camera. Uh, I didn't know that uh, looking after animals is important, and then uh, now I know that looking after animals is good because of it. we benefit a lot from animals. I think uh, when you're using the photography, some of the people, they don't have the advantage to come in the bush. When you show them the pictures about the, 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 for the animals, they will learn more about the, the, the nature. It's going to have a very, very big, huge impact for the communities to gain more knowledge about the bush. The people, they were used to come here and put in the impalas using the snakes so that they can have a meal. But now, as uh, the children, they know we mustn't do hunting. They will go and explain to other people, even their parents, you mustn't go and kill the animals because it's our nature.